Hello, everybody. This is Carl Elwine. This is a, let's say, a, a voiceover, a narration of the short block assembly number 117. It's a 395 cubic inch. This is for Anthony Fenwick. Eagle crankshaft, forge crankshaft. So what I have to do is uh, check bearings, uh, kind of set main bearing clearance. There's a number of things I need to do, make sure that the... Um, that the rods aren't going to hit the block. So that's later today. But for now, I'm going to do the bearing clearance on the mains so that I can put a crank rods piston together and let it swing. So here I'm, uh, I think what I have is uh, X size, one over for the mains. That's the, uh, the king. See the standard with an X? That gave me generally 0 0.003, 0 0.00. 27 for the main bearing clearance worked out nicely now see that i have the block uh pre-clearance by clinton auto machine they do a real good job and i make it just a little bit wider by hand and i think that is going to be enough but this is a quite a stroke you know, this is a 3.875 stroke 395 lt1 so i'm hoping but Many, many times I'll, um, you know, put the short block together and the rods will still bump. So I have to take it all apart, do some more grinding. So follow along while I put the short block together. I'm doing thrust right here. As you can see, it's almost four thousandths. Looks like, you know, a, a 3.75 that's going to be good enough, I think. Four thousandths for the thrust. I've uh, just laid out the Compstar six inch rods from Cali's, and these are Molly pistons. Getting ready to assemble every single one of them and uh, do bearing clearance check. So this is the 1.062 compression height piston that you need for a 6-inch rod and a 3.875 stroke, and that gives you 395 cubic inches. It's okay to call it a 396. That's kind of the popular thing, but anyway. 6-inch comp star rods, and I'm going to point to the rod bolts there. See how they're... They, this design helps in clearance because they're, the bolts are kind of tucked they don't poke out like an eagle rod. So here I'm showing you what the uh, measurement of the rod journal on the crank. Hard to do it with uh, one hand and with a with the camera on the other hand. So you transfer that measurement from the micrometer and um, see what the bore gauge is. The difference there. So I took, uh, you're going to see in a moment there, the freeze frame, it's 0 0.0020. Every single one of the rod bearings, all eight of them were 0 0.0020 clearance. All right, so I've got probably my first rod in here right here, and it's excellent clearance. I put the rest in, and with a little bit of shaky camera, I, there's one swinging, doing good, good clearance, and I move to the other one that's... Very good clearance there. And all of them, good clearance. All right, everybody, clearance is good. I can put the uh, short block, block together. I can put the cam bearings in. I don't have to take it all apart and do some more grinding. Carlo, I know engines. Take care. <laughs>